What's going on everybody? Dark Hour 717 here and currently I'm out at Area 18 out on Art Corp and in today's video we're going to do a guide to Invictus for all our new citizens. All the new citizens that we have in the verse may have never been to an Invictus or an Expo before so we're going to cover where it's at, how to get there, as well as how you can go about renting the different ships and all the ins and outs of the events. Before we get started, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Also follow on Twitch, and don't forget to get your entries in for May's giveaway of the Consolidated Outland Nomad, which we'll be awarding on June 1st. Details will be at the end of the video on how to get your entries in. So Invictus is a yearly event that spotlights the military ships of the verse. And we're going to go out and we're going to check it out. And it's a week-long free fly event so people can get in and fly free in the verse and try all the different ships. It's a great opportunity to try ships at no charge for a 48 hour period that you may be considering and to test drive them before you pledge or buy them in game. So we're gonna have to make our way out to Microtech. So we're gonna go ahead and pull a ship and we're gonna head out that way now. So let's get going. As I said, Invictus this year is being held out on Microtech, which is the same location the Expo was last fall. The Invictus Week is always held at the same location, the same exhibition hall. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to quantum on out there and head on down to the surface. So once we're here, we're going to go ahead and just quantum in on New Babbage, get our point here and head on in. All right, so here we are. We're gonna go ahead and head on down to the spaceport, call for our landing pad, and we're gonna land, and then I'll show you how to get to the Tobin Convention Center once we're over there. We're just gonna exit our ship here and head on down to the spaceport. We're just gonna grab the elevator over here and head to NBIS terminal. Now, once you get to the terminal, we're just gonna go through here very quickly. You're gonna head down to the Metro Loop. And then once you're on the Metro Loop, you're gonna see these signs here, which indicate which way to the convention center. So we're just gonna head over here. And from the spaceport, it's two stops so you want to make sure you get off at that second stop and that will be the convention center for the event all right so here we are once we're at the terminal here at the convention center we're just going to head on up these stairs and this will bring us to the convention hall. And here we are. Now, if you're already on New Babbage, then you'll wake up here at Aspire Grand in the Habs. From the Habs, the way to get to the convention center is you're just gonna go ahead and take the elevator down to the lobby. And then from the lobby, you'll head on out and again, head towards the Metro Loop and find those signs and follow those to the correct tram. Now from Aspire Grand, it's actually a very short jaunt. You're gonna get off at the very first stop after you leave the Aspire Grand area and they'll bring us back to here. So once you're up here in the convention hall, you can see a number of different things. We have the statue. That's a great opportunity for selfies. On both sides of the entranceway, you'll see different vendors have booth setups for gear such as hats, t-shirts, and up here towards the elevator, you'll see where they have the bomber jackets and some other manufacturer and Invictus event shirts that you can get for yourself while you're here. And then once you check that all out, we'll head down into the elevator into the current hall. Now today is a test play of the Aegis Hall. So once we come up here, you'll go past the large hologram and just go up this ramp or stairway here and that will bring you into the convention center. 
And as you come up here, you'll see this map that is set up on this podium. And this is your guide to the convention. It'll indicate what halls have what ships in them, and also indicate whether they have any of the side halls, and also show you what's available on the lower level where they have the hollow suites. Now, once you're done with the map, you'll see that the ships are on display on the floor. All the ships you can enter, go through, check inside and out, as well as rent with the exception of the Redeemer, which is a display only. Also around the outer ring of the hall, you'll see where they have different uh, weapons as well as components that you can purchase on the spot. You can go over to the side where the side halls are and you'll see different displays there as far as uniforms of the past, as well as the halls themselves will have additional ships from the manufacturers on display. Also, we have the F-8C Lightning on display on a permanent basis during the convention. And if you go back out to the main hall, go down these stairs, this is where they're gonna have the hollow viewers as well as some ground vehicles that may be on display. And you can check these all out. During the last two days, this is where you'll usually find a personal weapons display as well as rental terminals. If you wanna go back and re-rent any of the ships that you tested out during the, the main manufacturer days. But go back here and this is where our hollow viewers are depending on the manufacturer will determine what ships are in here this is our pioneer and these are actually amazing to look at now drake is the one exception drake does not have their days in the main convention hall it's actually held at the spaceport at the top of the stairs where the commercial docks are and you enter by going back here and going down the elevator to their main hall. Again, you'll see all their ships on display. Further back in the hall, they have a hollow viewer room as well as some of their land vehicles like the Dragonfly. And to rent, renting the ship is easy. You just walk up, interact on it. Your Moby Glass will come up, you hit rent and it is now in your ASOP at no charge for 48 hours from the time that you rented it. And you can go and do that as many times as you like on all the individual ships, but you can only rent one of the same ship at any given time. Now, some of the other events that are going on during the Invictus is we have our Javelin Tour, which is traveling from Everest to Bygini and also to Tressler and you can go to one of the security ports when it's on display there, enter the Javelin and see the interior, which I won't give too much away about it, but it's a great tour and it's amazing to see the inside of the ship. It's just massive. And other things that they have going on, of course, is the Bengal flyby, which is the largest ship to fly in the game at this point. The Bengal is the UEE's aircraft carrier and it's amazing to see in person. It's absolutely humongous. And trust me when I say I've seen people try to attack it and they barely lasted a few seconds. On one of the test runs, it was possible for us to land on it, but typically in most cases, if you try to land on the Bengal, it's just gonna destroy you as soon as you make contact. Although it won't give you a crime stat for doing it, it gets expensive with reclaiming your ships. So I don't recommend trying to land on it it usually does not work out well. So that's our basic guide on where to go, how to get there and what to do, how to rent ships. And hopefully this will help a lot of our newer citizens out in their ventures to check out the Invictus week. Don't forget that during this time it is a free fly so you can get in, check out the game for free and rent all these ships to use during that time. And Try all, all the different things that you may be anticipating getting. The other benefit is you're going to see a number of whole limited ships go on sale. Keep your eye on Spectrum for when the waves of those are going to be launched so you have limited time to get those. And any other ship that is flyable in game or concept that is not open for sale in most cases will open on the manufacturer's day that it is slated for. The event will be lasting from May 21st through June 1st. So I encourage everybody to check it out, have a great time, and hopefully you'll find something new that you'll like. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Also follow on Twitch, get your entries in for May's giveaway. Just subscribe and leave a comment on any video on YouTube or follow on Twitch or heck, do both and get yourself two entries, double your chances. 
Also, don't forget that if you're looking for an org, check out Amarok Spang. We're an anti-piracy org that just likes to get out and have fun and help the little guys when we can. And if you'd like to help support the channel, check out our Patreon page as well as our members page on YouTube. We have a lot of great reward packages there as well as a lot of merchandise in our merch store if you want to look for something. All of that goes right back into our giveaways to give back to you guys. And I want to thank everybody for all the support. You guys are absolutely wonderful. I hope everybody enjoys Invictus. And I hope to see as many people as possible there. And we will catch you next time.